What's up, everybody? Charlie Marlowe here on a Monday talking a little Cardinals baseball. We had a pretty juicy nugget, I think it's fair to say, coming from the Foul Territory podcast. Jack Flaherty doing an interview a few days ago. I think it was Thursday, Friday. can't remember exactly. I watched the 30-minute interview over the weekend. It's very interesting. I think you should check it out. It's with uh, Eric Kratz, Scott Braun, Todd Frazier. Obviously, AJ Pruszynski is usually on that podcast. But uh, I think the piece of information that a lot of people are talking about and writing about is the fact that Jack Flaherty was discussing Wilson Contreras and defending Wilson Contreras and trying to clarify some of his comments from last year, which was early May, that he said about the pitching staff in terms of we're throwing pitches that don't make sense. And at the time, I believe everybody took that as, hey, Wilson Contreras is calling pitches that don't make sense. And and clearly, you had something really odd happen. I mean, I'm I'm going on 42 years old, been watching and covering baseball my whole life. I've never I've never seen a catcher, especially a guy who's been in the big leagues about what seven seven plus years, all of a sudden get taken out of the catching role. So clearly something drastic was going on. That's an obvious statement last year. But look, Jack Flaherty, who has now signed with the Detroit Tigers on a one-year deal for $14 million. I'm very happy for Jack, by the way. I hope he gets healthy. I hope he's really good again. I have nothing against Jack. I like Jack. I'm not one of these people that's uh, very much against Jack for, for other reasons, not just baseball and injuries and all that. But clearly, going back to the kind of the, the Black Lives Matter stuff, there, there's some people that don't like Jack Flaherty. We all know that. I'm just trying to say that I have no agenda against Jack Flaherty at all so i'm just i'm shooting straight with you about what i think about what i watched and then kind of going back in time because i think we're entering the spin zone here a little bit i understand that jack flaherty you know maybe he didn't say it perfectly he was frustrated after that outing against the angels which was a really rough outing and and maybe he didn't say exactly perfectly what he meant but i think it was pretty clear to fans and media what he did mean and and what other pitchers said, and also what happened. Like, let's be real. Let's be real. This wasn't a minor thing. And I think sometimes we're doing we're doing some revisionist history about what happened with the Cardinals last year with Wilson Contreras. And, and by the way, I like Wilson Contreras too. I hope I hope he's great this year. I hope we turn this all around. I hope he's a, a, a solid catcher and we don't talk about this anymore. But to act like this wasn't this massive, crazy story last year that that changed seemingly day by day, if you remember, after some of these comments, and there's that Saturday the Cardinals are playing, and the announcement is made that Wilson Contreras is now going to not catch for a while. They're going to work him in the outfield. The baseball world goes crazy, and then the next day they change their plan. And and I've been looking into this because I want to make sure when I do these videos I know what I'm talking about because I misremember some things. And you look at Katie Wu's reporting. So that Sunday, John Mozeliak said, look, a lot, a lot was said yesterday, but we talked with Wilson Contreras, and he's not going to be an outfielder unless it's an absolute emergency. So clearly, the plan changed. Their, their plan on that Saturday changed then on Sunday. After John Mozeliak said, you can go to Katie Wu's report, that uh, he talked with Wilson Contreras. So, so clearly, something changed in that 24 hours. Probably some ego involved. The baseball world is going nuts. Everybody's talking about this. That's a, that's a shot to an ego of a, of, a, of a prideful, very good player like Wilson Contreras. So, but getting back to the reason I'm doing this video is the Jack Flaherty comments. I just think that a year or so after the fact, you know, Jack Flaherty is trying to explain himself, probably feels bad about it. And my guy, Jimmy the Cat Hayes, also had Miles Michaelis on his podcast on YouTube, the, uh, what, the Cat's Corner. And Miles Michaelis said similar things. He said, look, we, we took... We basically allowed Wilson Contreras to take the bullets for us. And and go watch Kat's interview, by the way, also with Miles Michaelis so you get the direct quote. All I'm saying is I, I think we're doing some revisionist history. I understand that after the fact, emotions calm, people feel bad about what they said, they like these guys. Like nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing this because they dislike each other. It was just an awful season for the Cardinals last year. It was a terrible start. I mean, it is, it is more the, the, the pitcher's fault. But also, look, let's be real about this. There, is, there essentially has to be a mutiny. There essentially has to be a pitching mutiny 
where the the staff goes to the the coaching staff and says we can't throw to this dude that that that's what happened let's be honest you don't take a dude who's seven plus years in the big leagues who did catch during a world series run and he's been he's been very solid we know he's not the greatest defensive catcher but you don't take that dude in year seven or eight whatever it is and say you're no longer a catcher that just doesn't happen unless there's essentially a mutiny from the pitching staff and says we can't throw to this dude we got to clean this up that's what happened I mean, let's be real. Let's let's not let's not insult the intelligence of of very smart baseball fans, and for the most part, smart media. Right? Are we pretty smart? Okay, some of us. I'm not that smart, but you know what I'm saying. Look, I'm not like mad about this. I just think sometimes, look, guys want to kind of sanitize the record of what happened. I understand that. Jack Flaherty, you should you should watch the whole interview. It's about 30 minutes. I wish Jack the best. I hope he pitches really well for Detroit. I hope he gets paid. Hey, I hope the Tigers are good. I mean, that's a wide open AL Central division. But if the Tigers aren't good, you, you'd think if Jack Flaherty's pitching well again, he'll get flipped to a contender once again at the trade deadline. And I hope he gets paid down the road. Uh, it's kind of funny. We all thought, oh, Jack Flaherty's definitely going to play for the Dodgers. He's going to be on the West Coast. And he signs with the Detroit Tigers in the freaking Rust Belt. I grew up going to Tigers games. So whenever the Tigers are good, I'm excited about that. I was never really a huge Tigers fan, but my family is, so it's all good. But, again, what do you guys think? Comment, like, subscribe. What do you think about what I said if you watched the Jack Flaherty interview? I think months later, the next season, he feels bad about what he said. He's trying to clean up the record a little bit. And, again, I'm not saying he said the exact perfect thing. He was frustrated after that Angels outing when he said we're – we're throwing pitches that don't make sense. To me, that was very clearly calling out who's who's calling the pitches in Wilson Contreras. Now, could he have just not said that perfectly? Sure. I'm going to I'm going to give give folks the benefit of the doubt usually, but I think when we saw what happened with Wilson Contreras, I think what he did mean at the end of the day was Wilson Contreras, whoever you want to blame it on, whether it was the communication between Dusty Blake, Wilson Contreras, pitching staff, you know, pitch clock, new catcher, bunch of guys missing from the World Baseball Classic. Not Jack Flaherty. But you can you can talk about that with Wayno, with Miles Michaelis, with some other guys. So in that interview, Jack Flaherty basically said, I, di I didn't mean it was the pitches that Wilson Contreras was calling. He said in this interview with Foul Territory, you know, I meant it was we weren't executing. So if we have an 0-2 pitch, I throw a slider. All of a sudden, though, it's in the zone. It gets, it gets hit. I give up a double, whatever it is. You know, I'm not talking about the pitches being called. I'm talking about the execution of the pitches. But I think it's fair to say that most people, when that happened back in May, they, they interpreted what he said for, for what I think what he meant, which is we're calling the wrong pitches. Something's not right. There's miscommunication. We're not on the same page. And, and look, clearly that was the case because they sat freaking Wilson Contreras down for about eight days and didn't let him catch. Something I've never, I've never seen in the big leagues. I'm going on 42 years old. Been in St. Louis now, what, like covering the team for about 16 years. I've never seen or even heard about that happening with the Cardinals or any other team. So I, I, I understand, but I don't think we should also kind of sanitize the record and, and try to act like what we didn't see happen and what we didn't think happened and what happened didn't happen, right? We all know what happened. But also, let's, let's turn the page. I, I understand... And, Say, Charlie, how can we turn the page when you're talking about? Well, this is in the news. This was a big, this was a big news story in the last three, four days in Cardinal Nation. Everybody talking about it. Everybody writing about it. I understand what Jack Flaherty's doing, but look, the pitching staff sucked last year. Wilson Contreras, <laughs> early on, was doing something so so bad, so bad that they took him out of the freaking catching position. So it had to be pretty dang bad, right? It had to be pretty dang bad. I don't know exactly what it was. We've heard reports that he was calling pitches that pitchers didn't have, that Michael Kay report from the Yankees. Will we ever know exactly what happened? I don't know. But it was bad enough that they took the dude out of the frickin' catching position for eight days. At first they said he's going to be an outfielder in year one of a five-year deal. So let's not pretend like this didn't happen. That's all I'm saying. Jack Flaherty, I'm not mad. I'm a fan of Jack Flaherty. I hope he does well. All I'm saying is when I watched that interview – and I heard him talk about Wilson Contreras. I said, eh, I don't know if that's exactly how it went down. But that's my opinion. 
you should watch the interview. It's very interesting, too, talking about Yachty and Wayno and a lot of respect for those guys. But uh, that's just my opinion. It is what it is. What do you guys think? Comment, like, subscribe. Did you watch the interview? What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you agree with Jack? Do you disagree? Uh, if you like this show, share the share the video. Share the channel. Share the show. Word of mouth is great. Put it in the group text. Put it on social media, whatever it is. All right, it's cold outside. My hand's shaking. If you're saying, Charlie, you wear this sweatshirt all the time in your videos, I do. This is kind of my around-the-house thick, almost coat sweatshirt. I don't really care. I'm going to wear the same three sweatshirts for all these videos. I don't give a crap. This ain't about fashion. We're just talking baseball. All right? All right. Have a great week, everybody. And uh, for the 87th time, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, reply. What do you think of Jack Flaherty's comments? Do you believe him? Do you think he's kind of trying to sanitize what happened last year? A little bit of the spin zone. That's what I'm saying. What do you think? All right. Peace out, guys.